focus on just what I wanted to see. Without your helmet, you're getting everything. And it hurts, doesn't it? soldiers in Benin, but it's from Wakanda, and it's made out of vibranium. Don't trip. I'm going to take it off your hands for you. The news dropped that a new Superman could be Michael B. Jordan, and social media went nuts. You would think that the KKK was forced to have a clans meeting at an Islamic church. Some of the responses you would see in social media, and we're going to discuss it in this video. If you're finding me for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you're down every time we drop a Life Games video. Also, follow me on the Great Stardust app. I do 30-second movie reviews up there, and you can too. And if you really, really like this content, support me on Patreon. It's hard as hell for a brother to get a donation on Patreon, and you can make that happen for us. Let's jump into this video. Get your opinion. What's good, YouTube? You're in the building with your old Uncle Mont, host of the Life Games channel. And man, they is going in upset about the possibility of a black Superman. And we're going to talk about that right now. But first, let me put on my plus seven glasses of cinema sexy as hell. Work on skilling up my craft, bringing you a better YouTube experience, something better to look at, more informed experience. If you like these glasses, check the video description, shoplifegains.com. Sponsor this video, HD IPTV Services. Everything you want to see from pay-per-view, sports, all that, $14 a month. The news came out um, recently that Warner Brothers is possibly either fired Henry Cavill or he quit. The rumor is that he got fired. And so the search began for a new Superman and Deadline is reporting that DC Warner Brothers wants Michael B. Jordan. And when that dropped and a few other bloggers and YouTubers put that out there, people was disliking their videos, not because it was a bad video, but because the thought of having a black Superman didn't sit well with them. And I want you guys to take a look at some of the social media black backlash. So this is no different from when they portray a white character or a black character and they're going to use a different actor. It's happened before and there have been a few times where you've had white actors be portrayed by black people. The list goes on and on. You've had Nick Fury. He's a white guy. He was portrayed by a black guy. You've had Kingpin. You've had Tessa Thompson and the very person DC is going after played probably the best role in that sorry ass Fantastic Four movie, Michael B. Jordan, by playing Johnny Storm. Now, a part of me is kind of like, I don't really care what you guys think, because there was a long time ago where white actors would portray black people by putting on damn paint on their face, all right? But I'm a tempered person, and I look at things with my eyes wide open. 
And then the, the, the argument came up, well, how would a black person feel if we had a white guy playing Black Panther? Somebody like fucking Channing Tatum, right? So then I say to them, that's not enough context because comic books often have alternative universes with black guys playing white characters and vice versa. I've never seen an alternative universe version of Black Panther being anything but black. But there is an alternative universe where you have Superman playing a character called Val Zod. So people were saying they could be accepted of Michael B. Jordan playing Val Zod and not Clark Kent. I'm kind of of the mindset of let the brother play whichever one he wants to play. Um, the Val Zod they're talking about, of course, follows. He's a little bit more dark. He's not as G golly whiz as Clark Kent Superman. But I think on this one, you know, you're talking about an alien race. You can spend it how you want. There's no way you can spin Africa into something different. I mean, I don't see how you do that. But you can spin an alien race that already has a story background in the alternative universe in the comic books with a black Superman. If you go down the movies DC has done and trying to compete with Marvel, it ain't been good for DC. Um, Batman versus Superman, it, it made money, but the reviews were bad. Man of Steel, um, it made money, but it didn't have great reviews. And so far, the biggest money maker with good reviews has been Wonder Woman. And so DC has been trying to capitalize on that. And what they have decided to do is they're going to be coming out with a Supergirl origin story. And she's going to be the new main super person on their group. Kind of, kind of capitalizing on the woman's movement and the diversity. And I would have to say that if you think that that worked, why not try a black Superman? That might be something to work. I mean, Michael B. Jordan is an outstanding actor. He can do anything you ask him to do, I think. Um, he, like I said, he made that role of Johnny Storm in the Fantastic Four. But, you know, as they said, ask yourself the question, my African-Americans out there. How would you feel if they did try to make Black Panther white, even though I just gave you context of how I don't think that would be possible? And so having said all that, let me know in the comment sections how you feel about Warner Brothers and DC trying to take a different spin. Now, if they do make Michael B. Jordan come into the franchise, it's going to have to be a clean reboot. I mean, you can't just continue the old man of steel with Michael B. Jordan, or could you? You know, maybe Warner Brothers feel like they need such a big shakeup to try to get back into prominence and keep up with DC, I mean, excuse me, keep up with Marvel and all the great things Marvel has done. So you guys let me know in the comment sections below, how do you feel about a Michael B. Jordan version of Superman? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself that damn life game. Check that video description box. Check out my affiliate. See who I'm doing business with to help you all make those life gains. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll super see you.